the battle between the Federalists and the Anti-Federalists happens after the Constitution is written and before it is ratified by nine states. Okay, so remember that uh, we had the Articles of Confederation, that was not working out very well, so a lot of the leaders at the time met, they uh, wrote a new constitution, and then they all went back uh, to their respective states um, to get their state governments to ratify it. Um, as stated, they needed nine states to ratify it so that it would, would, take into, would, would go into effect. And the people that were for ratification were called the Federalists, and the people who did not like this new constitution and did not want it ratified were called the Anti-Federalists. Okay, so um, they are led by James Madison, Alexander Hamilton, and John Jay. Um, they really stressed how weak the Articles of Confederation was and how big of a problem that was for the country that this Articles of Confederation didn't really have any real power. Um, they argued that uh, this Constitution sets up this idea of checks and balances and that that would limit the government. Um, so please check out our other videos on checks and balances and lim and limited government okay um, and they said we don't need a bill of rights because we've only listed things that this government can do essentially now the anti-federalists they did not like the Constitution because they thought it had too much power and they wanted state governments to be the ones that had more power okay they did want a bill of rights because they didn't think that there were enough protections for citizens um, in this new constitution okay so um, hopefully you understand that the federalists end up winning this debate because that is why we have the constitution however the reason and and the biggest reason why we really even care about this debate um, is because that is how we end up getting the Bill of Rights, okay? This was a compromise. They said, well, if we write a Bill of Rights, will you get on board with it? Um, most of the Anti-Federalists agree, and the Constitution is ratified and goes into effect um, in 1789, okay? Um, and, but then those 10 amendments um, are written, that is called the Bill of Rights, um, and they are there to protect individual rights and limit the power of the federal government.